Good afternoon, everybody. On today's episode of Paint Chow's Garage, we're going to learn where specific hardware belongs on your Honda ADV 150. So let's get to work because this is Peach House Garage. So first things first, let's give you guys a really, really quick rundown on what is on your Honda ADV and where specific panels belong and in what order they go in. Okay, so if we're looking on our pretty much our right side of our uh, scooter, they have a very particular order that they have to go in. Uh, number one, rear panel goes in first, then front panel, then you put in the centerpiece, which locks everything down on both sides. However, there are specific screws that everything goes in for your fairings, okay? These fairings are identical on the left and the right side, except for one or two very odd job spots. Number one, on the right, on the left side, there's a hidden screw in your little compartment here, right here, for this uh, left big piece fairing right here. On the right side, the screw that kind of matches that side um, is, let's see, no, no, is up here. It's the one that kind of goes up here. Uh, and that's it. Oh, yeah, this one right here and this one right here. So there's two. But these are identical on the other side. Um, it's just a screw because of the box, the way the box and everything holds in. Instead of having a screw on this side, this has like a plastic grommet that pushes in place and locks this fairing all in place. Um, there are two per side uh, push grommets underneath. Right down here, you'll see here, there's like these little push grommets. Those are kind of like those little plastic bonded panels ones that you push out and slide in and then lock. Okay. Now you have what they call uh, sheet metal screws, or I kind, of, I kind of call them sheet metal screws. These guys right here, these shiny silver ones. Now these are very particular. They're on the floorboards. So if you go on your floorboard over here, they're identical on both sides, and you pull them back, you see there's one here. And then there's a 10 millimeter nut that goes on this one. This is kind of a combo side, okay? The nut goes actually to the frame. There's actually a bolt that it bolts on. I mean, a, a frame rail that these bolt onto. Those screws are all around the body. So there's four on here. There's, I believe, four on the rear fairing, I believe. Let me confirm. Uh, we have one, two, three. I believe there's a fourth one somewhere out here. Yeah, one, two, three, yeah, four. So one, two, three, and four. Those four hold this fairing to the body, okay? Um, and then this has a screw down here to hold this big piece in place. This guy has a screw specific on the outside of this and that's all over here and you'll see these uh body panels that have these little um quick screws uh these quick uh screw certs these are going to always use the metal ones that look like this okay always all right and you'll see that here here and there's one here now the ones that are Black like this guy These screws that are black these go to the chassis. Okay guys. These will bolt onto the frame You'll see that when you guys start pulling them out. They're threaded very fine There's a very fine thread and that's how you know or how you uh, Look them apart uh, from Body panel screws to actual frame screws like these and then you have like those cosmetic ones uh, Where are they these guys? The ones with Allen bits, these are very specific. Um, they have a, they're recessed slightly. 
So those guys will be strictly for aesthetic purposes. Now, what I like to do when I take my bike apart, if I'm going to take one whole side apart, I leave the other side intact. That way, when I take this side off, I can use this side for reference on where specific screws go that are bolted on. Uh, just to be safe, if I forget, if I end up mixing all my screws up, I know where actually where I'm going to be putting stuff. Um, the cosmetic ones, like I was talking about, these guys, okay, are, again, they're cosmetic, but they have a purpose, obviously, they do hold, hold pieces down. Um, like this, uh, this cover, uh, the side cover, like this one has them as well. You'll see here. Um, and you'll see these are the ones I'm talking about, these little body grommets. These guys are for holding two pieces of plastic together uh, quickly. Uh, those you'll find in very odd places. Uh, number one, kind of like this guy right here. This guy has one to hold the two plastic pieces when you put the tub in. Um, it's also, there's a bunch of them here on the side to hold the tub or keep the tub in place. Uh, there's one for this cover right here for the spark plug access uh, underneath the floorboard. You'll see right here, there's one here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, and there's one down below on this plastic piece. It, again, it, it's what it does is it aligns specific plastic parts on the body that don't have um, screw parts. They just use that to hold them in place. Uh, I made a mistake here. You see this one, this shouldn't be here. This actually doesn't go here. This one actually goes here. The one that goes here is the cosmetic one, the nice shiny one. And you'll see here's the body grommet for this guy right here on that part. Uh, down below, you'll see here, there's a there's a plastic one here. That's a body, a little plastic cosmetic one. And you'll see I have a, a quick nut insert in here. So this one's going to use a silver one to hold that one in place. Uh, because this one is not going to any body, any frame rail. It's just plastic on plastic. So typically these guys are going to have the silver screw, just like that one right there too. That's how you know what goes where. Now this one I believe has uses the um, the decorative one I believe because this is where the big glossy plastic one goes. Um, traditionally the silver clips are the ones that use the silver screws uh, on these bodies. I'm gonna confirm that in a little bit but I think that's what it is. If we go move to the back, if you took this portion off, there's very flat uh, domed uh, Phillips screws here and here. Again, these are here for cosmetic purposes. That's why they're black, to match everything here on the body. This one has one, two, three cosmetic screws. And if you open this, this has a black and then a black flathead that has a, a, fine, a, a fine thread on it. This one has the little divot, uh, the nut, little plastic insert. You see this one, this is a silver sheet metal screw. So that's gonna be the silver screw that bolts onto this one. That's what's gonna hold this plastic trim that's right here. And then you see here, again, same thing. Silver piece, silver screw. Silver piece, there's gonna be a silver screw there. And these are the metal ones again, these guys here, okay? In here, there's two black screws that go in here that hold this specific panel in place, the big one that goes on your body. It's a black screw. Remember that, guys. It's a black flat machine screw uh, that looks like this. That's where that one belongs, there and here and here as well. Then we're going to move on to the rear uh, braces right here. These have 12 millimeter head bolts. They're about an inch long. Uh, they also have one little like uh, nut spacer, I guess you want to call it. So it holds down the rear bracket. There's four of these are identical. So it doesn't really matter which ones you move them around to for the rear sissy bars. For the front or the tub, okay, so you have these for the inner liner of the tub that go on the sides. And then you have these, there's five of these. One is different. All four, all five have the same exact 10 millimeter head 
Two go inside the battery compartment, and these three go in the tub. The one that's like different than all the other ones that's recessed, this guy goes all the way over here on this corner. It's very specific for this corner specifically, nowhere else. Okay, guys? Just so you guys know that it goes on here. Um, the reason for this is for all the plastic that is layered here. It has a recess in it, so it locks everything in place. The other 10 10 millimeter bolts here go here and here. Okay? And then there's one here and here for the tub. Okay? The 12 millimeter ones go here, 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 and here. Ah, I'm trying to think what else is there. See, so we got that, 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 that. Um, that one, we already showed you that. Uh, oh, the radiator cover. This guy right here has three eight millimeter bolts. They're identical. Uh, they're like kind of like the case screws. These guys right here. There's three specifically on here, no more than that. And on the radiator, you'll find them. There's one, two, and number three is like up here, kind of hidden in this corner somewhere. Yeah, one, two, and three for that guy. And that's pretty much it for your entire body. Other than that, that's that's it. Uh, you guys kind of got a sneak peek of my bike. I'm done. I'm almost done wrapping it. Um, came out pretty good, I think. For my first time wrapping a bike got a couple imperfections but i'm okay with that you know you're never going to wrap something perfect especially when it's your first time doing it on a bike uh, there's so many uh aggressive lines so it's really hard to wrap them but i'm i'm happy with it um besides that though guys that's pretty much it that's your hardware on these uh, scooters there's not a lot that are difficult they're just in weird spots um Remember the ones that are on here, up here? These are just the standard silver screws. The ones that are here, these are the cosmetic Allen wrench screws, okay guys? Remember that. Uh, for, the, your, for the upper cover right here, there's two of these black machine screws. And then the one, there's one underneath here that sits all the way at the bottom. It's one of those black, I mean silver screws. And that's honestly it. I, don't, I can't figure out anything else for you guys. There's not a lot more, um, if you're putting, like I said, when you're putting it back together, there's not a lot I can give you guys for, uh, for screws because there's not that many. All right, uh, comment down below if you have any more questions about what screws go where. Um, please comment, hit that subscribe and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because we got more uh, DIYs coming up for this scooter. We got a DIY for how to remove the panels. We got a camshaft DIY. We got um, uh, the timing on it. What else do we have here? Um, I don't know what else I got. I'll figure it out when we as we go. Uh, I have a lot of content that I filmed during this entire build process. So thanks again, everybody, for watching this quick episode of Pinchy Alice Garage. Peace out, and you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, ride safe, everyone.